guys, so I'm here with another video and it's something a little bit different than what I usually put out on my channel. I'm going to be taking you guys along my meal prepping process and if you don't know what meal prepping is, it's basically just where you cook a bunch of different foods like a bunch of different meats and sources of uh, carbs, vegetables, and all that. You cook it all at once and then you pre-portion them and pre-package them into meals so that you can take them on the go and it just makes meal times a lot easier. So what I really love about meal prepping is that number one, it's super healthy. It's a good way to get an appropriate amount of carbs, proteins, and vegetables in every meal. Number two, it saves a lot of money because instead of going out to eat every meal, you can buy everything in bulk at like Costco or your local grocery store, cook it all at once, have it all ready, and you don't have to go out and spend like 10, 15 each meal. And third, meal prepping is totally customizable and it's unique to every person depending on what kind of foods you like. So you can make anything you want as long as you portion them correctly and as long as it's still pretty healthy, anything works. So this morning, my mom and I, we meal prepped a ton of meals and we mixed and matched a bunch of different foods. You guys will get to see what ingredients we use how we cook them, and how you can, I guess, manage your time in the kitchen because you are cooking a lot of things at once. The time management thing is probably one of the hardest things because you have to like be cooking your veggies while you're cooking the meat. So my mom definitely did help out a lot. And hopefully this inspires you to maybe try out meal prepping or this might just give you an idea for like a simple lunch or dinner that you can whip up at home. Um, but yeah, regardless, I hope you guys enjoy. So for vegetables, we have bell peppers, onions, um, asparagus, and broccoli. Those are going to be all the veggies that we're going to be using. Oh, and mushrooms. For the meats, we have chicken, salmon, and ground turkey. And then for source of carbs, we're going to be using sweet potatoes, and we have some uh, brown rice already made. For seasonings, we're going to be using parsley leaves, lemon pepper, black pepper, pink Himalayan salt, garlic salt, and Italian seasoning. And then to cook the sweet potatoes, we're just going to... Wrap them up in foil, like so. And then we already preheat the oven to 450 degrees. And we're gonna leave them in there for about an hour. First thing we're gonna be cooking is the grilled chicken breast. We're gonna just be grilling it on this pan. Sprayed it with some cooking spray. We're gonna be seasoning with garlic salt. Italian seasoning, pepper, and squeeze some lemon. Moving on, the second thing that we're gonna be cooking up, we're gonna be doing like a turkey meat sort of patty thing. You guys will see. We have ground turkey meat, two eggs so far, and then some minced garlic. And we have all these chopped up veggies that we're gonna be just Onion? tossing. Yeah, onions, bell peppers, and mushrooms. Put some ground pepper and some pink Himalayan salt. And we're putting in a little bit of oyster sauce, just a little bit. So we're gonna be cooking the turkey meat patties on the stove, I'm shaping the patties. And the final meat that we're going to be cooking is a lemon pepper seasoned salmon. It's going to be really good. So we have the salmon, some lemon slices, and these are the seasonings. We have the lemon pepper seasoning and the parsley. So right now we finished cooking up all the sources of protein for the meals. Now we're going to be preparing the vegetables. So I think we're going to be doing a stir fry and then we're just going to do some steamed broccoli on the side. Here we got all the veggies cut up and ready to be sauteed. Sauteing a little bit of garlic for some taste. Because the asparagus takes a little bit longer to cook, we're going to put that in first. So 
we're gonna be steaming the broccoli in this special steamer thingy. All you have to do is put your veggies in, put the lid on, and put it in the microwave. That red thing makes it really easy to steam vegetables because you just put it in the microwave. But if you don't have that, you can um, just steam your veggies on the stove by putting them in the pot and then putting some water, putting a lid over, and just letting it sit. So the steamed broccoli's all done, and so is the sauteed vegetables. Okay, and I think the sweet potatoes are done cooking. Oi, 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 it's hot. Okay, so all of our food is done cooking. Now it's time to package everything, which is probably the most fun part. So we're gonna be using these little Tupperwares. Um, we got these off of Amazon. They're reusable, microwave safe and you can dispose of them if you want to. Um, you can also use like glass Tupperware or any sort of like plastic Tupperware that you have. So yeah, we're gonna start putting everything Maybe in. Maybe this much rice? Yeah. All right, as you can see, we have packaged all the food. This part is honestly all up to you, depending on what you want to eat with certain foods. So we definitely mixed it up. For all of these meals, it was either rice, or sweet potatoes, and then we put either salmon, turkey, or chicken in them, and then for the vegetables, it was either just steamed broccoli or like broccoli with the assorted vegetables. But yeah, we just mixed and matched, and this is what we got. Well, that concludes the whole meal prepping process. I think it all took about, I wanna say an hour and a half, which is not bad at all because now I am set for lunch and dinner for like the next, I don't even know how long. I only have about maybe like a week or so left of winter break. Right now, it is like the perfect time to save as much money as I can before going off to school and to try to eat as healthy as I can because I have to take advantage of the fact that I'm home and that I can cook my own meals because when I'm away in college, that's like the number one thing that I miss the most. Here at home, I have total control of what I'm eating, so might as well make some healthy decisions. I know it was a lot of fun to not only make all the food, but put it all together, and I just know it's all gonna taste so good because the kitchen right now smells amazing. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos where I show you different recipes because I definitely wanna do some more in the future. I really wanna emphasize how important I think healthy eating is. It's essential for a healthy lifestyle and it just goes hand in hand with working out, which obviously if you guys have watched my channel, you know that I really enjoy working out and I try to strive for a very healthy lifestyle, but you know, also enjoying things in moderation. That concludes this whole video on meal prepping and if you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, you know, I'm not a health expert or nutritionist. I'm not trying to tell you guys, oh, this is the way to eat. You need to eat this in order to be healthy. No, 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 no. Um, I'm just giving you ideas for if you guys want quick, easy, healthy meals because I know that that's super important. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.